hello guys and thanks for sitting to my channel if you are new please subscribe if you are old thanks for always coming back on today's video we are going to be talking about Helen Paul's marriage issues if you are following Helen Paul on Instagram you must have seen what is going on what she texted or what she posted as a message if you haven't read it I think you should go on Instagram and check after watching this video sometimes we do things ignorantly and we don't know the consequences so let's get straight into this video if you don't know who Ellen Paul is, Ellen Paul is a Nigerian actress, she's a comedian, she's the presenter of this program called Jara. So if you don't know, you can go, always go and check or oh, put a picture of her here. Yes, that's Ellen Paul. So she wrote the seven stories about her husband and that's what I'm going to explain to you right now. She started by saying that she has been married for 10 good years and before she got married, she dated her boyfriend who is who is her husband now for three years before ever they got married and that he was a loyal boyfriend but after marriage god blessed her husband with contracts upon contracts you know the money started flowing cash started entering and that he changed and became somebody else he started calling girls here and there taking them to expensive hotels buying expensive phones for them from the latest iphones to samsung and that her husband has bought Hundreds of phones for girls, like she has bought hundreds of girls' phones, latest Samsung and iPhones, and then the cheapest phone that her husband ever bought a girl is Samsung J7. Upon all the money that her husband was giving girls out, she had only 50,000 naira for upkeep and for food money in the house. She was looking so shabby that she could not even have money to retouch her hair. And each time she complained to her husband about that, her husband would tell her that what does she want to do, who does she want to look good for. That she even begged her husband to give her money to set up a business, but her husband refused, saying that he does not want his wife to work. She said it was so bad that she could no longer take it, so she, she was forced to start a business for herself. She started a business forcefully because there was no way she could continue that way. And that she bought 10 pieces of land for 250,000 naira each. She bought 10 pieces of land for 250,000 naira each. And that with after three years she was able to sell one piece of land for 4.5 million naira she said her husband had a lot of money that he was unable to even do something for herself toilets of building a house for them nor even their village so where they are where they are now her husband hasn't built a single house she will advise her husband to even build a house or even the village her husband will refuse and that when he is ready he is going to build a house within months she went on saying that she does not know what happened and her husband's company has been backlisted because even when she, she when her husband had money when she wanted to talk about her husband's cheating habit her husband would tell her that if she cannot take his cheating habits let her leave so she stayed quiet started her business bought her pieces of land and now that she is financially com uh, comfortable her husband's company has been backlisted and the money the kind of money she, he had he does no longer have it again like Things are difficult for him now and why she is flourishing. So her husband now, since there's no more money in his pocket, he has become the lawyer husband that she used to know. Oh, he is now calm, he's now caring. Even though her husband does not have a, a house, she has built six-story buildings and has given them on rent. And that her, the seven her one she has given to her, to her parents and they are living inside. She went on explaining that since she has refused to join hands with her husband to build a house in, the, in, in his village, her husband is going around saying trash about her and people are even saying that she has sucked, that she has liquidated everything, that she has taken everything from him, she has sucked everything from him and now she does not want to support him. But that this is a man that feeds, she clothes, she respects him, she pays, she pays all the house bills, every single thing you can imagine for him. Yet people are saying that she is a bad person because she does not want to join her to build a house for her husband in the village. So she told him that for her to take, for her to join her with him to build a house, she would better take that money and invest into luxury Brazilian hair. So what's my take on this? Seriously, I'm not against Helen Paul. I respect her decision. I know what I know what she has been through is difficult from what she explained. I don't understand why some men are like that. This does not only apply to men. I don't want to be biased on this issue. I want to say what Helen Paul has been through or is going through is something that happens to almost everybody, be it male or female, or be the husband or the wife. Everybody goes through that. I want to just say that 
I know and I understand her bitterness. Like living with somebody that you know has financially as, and is not supporting you. You are struggling for yourself. It's like you have nothing. You are like left to yourself that up to the point that she could not even retouch her hair. Like what's so bad for a woman? What's so bad? What can you think of that can really frustrate a woman who does not have money to retouch her own hair? If she decides not to help her husband and achieve anything, she is right. That's what they say in this life that opportunity counts but once. When you have an opportunity of doing something, make sure you do it because they say procrastination is a test of time. Don't procrastinate because when you say, I will do it tomorrow, you don't know what will happen tomorrow. You don't. If you can do it today, why not? If you have the possibilities of doing it today, do it. Just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead. Do it, guys. Do it. Whatever she's saying now is because of bitterness. It's because of the fact that she knew that her husband had that possibility of doing so many things, but he did none. He said he squandered it with girls here and there in expensive hotels, buying expensive iPhones. Like today, all the girls that he spent the money on, would any of them accept it without money? Everything that men do outside, everything that you do outside, at the end of the day, the person living in the house with you is the person bearing all the consequences. Like today, you are no longer with those girls because you don't have money again. Because I know the girls will not, the, the, the girls will no longer support the, the man. They'll be like, he has nothing, he's broke. They'll jump over to the next person that can give them all those luxury things that he was given. And since he can no longer give it, he's useless to them. He's not their husband. So it's just very normal that they will leave him. And the person suffering the consequences today is who? Helen Paul. Helen Paul. And people have the guts to sit and say that she's bad. Upon all these things, she says she still respects him, she pays all the bills, she feeds him, she clothes him, she does every other thing you can think of that a woman does for a man. And people still go ahead and say she's wicked. Like you that are sitting out there and saying that she is wicked or she's that. Do you know what she has been through? We are all human. I think all what she is saying is because of the pains that she has been through and how the man treated her. This life is all about opportunity. Don't minimize somebody today because you don't know what that person will be tomorrow. Don't. Even the least person did. See, uh, guys, I don't want to put this only on men. It's also on women. There are some women that have money more than their men. I don't advise those women to disrespect their men. No. Support each other. You never know what life or what the future holds for both of you. He was flying from one place to the other, buying expensive phones and all what not. Where is he today? What's happening? He's now down. And at the end of the day, we don't know. On the other hand, I would like to say Helen Paul should tamper justice with mercy. Helen Paul, if you're listening to this video, tamper justice with mercy. I know he hurt you, but help bring him up back. Maybe he has learned his lesson. If at the end of the day you see that he is regretting, he apologizes to you for whatever he did, please take him back and raise him. If at the end of the day you see that he is not willing to change, go get yourself some diamond. Get yourself some luxury hair. Ride in the best of cars you can. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I don't listen to those who come out saying that, oh, you are the one who sucked your husband dry, and now you don't respect him, and now you don't do this. Don't listen to them. You are the one putting on the shoes. You know where it pains. At the end of the day, she asked this question, is she being too harsh? Me, I would say she is not harsh at all. Because what she is going through is difficult, or what she has gone through is so, so painful. So I would say that she is not being harsh at all. She's not. On the contrary, I would say she's being so lenient, she's being very nice. Because some of us are in the world. So, never you neglect somebody. Treat your wife like a queen. Treat your husband like a king. That's all what I would say. Support each other because you never know what the future holds for both of you. So guys, after listening to this story, let me know in the comment section if Helen Paul is being too harsh. If she's being too harsh, let me know. Because on my own... I would say she is not harsh, but let me know your thoughts on this. Tell me if you like videos like this. Make sure you stay tuned for my next video. Bye. <laughs>